Art Makeup Geeks, I have five different work looks for you guys. I give you completely different color combinations and techniques for you guys, just so you can have ideas of each day of the week. They're really easy to do, and I just do the eyes and the lips for this video. The cheeks, you can just wear the same every day. I just wanted to give you guys some ideas. So let's start first with Monday's look. All right, so it's Monday. I know everyone hates Mondays. Boo. <laughs> But what I like to do to try to cheer it up, as you can see, I'm wearing a bright color. And the look I chose is almost like a summery feeling where it's the shimmery eyes and just a very slight ombre lip just to try to hopefully cheer up your Monday blues um, for hair for that first day because it's nice and squeaky clean. So what I do for the hair is I just take a one inch barrel curling iron and I curl it at the top and then I leave the end straight. So it gives it kind of a wavy look. So again, we'll go for kind of a beachy look for Monday because who doesn't love the beach instead of working on Monday? So take Max Paint, or not Painterly, Rubenesque Paint Pot. It's a beautiful shimmery color. We're just going to put this all over the lid and stay under the crease. Really, really easy. And then you're going to take a pigment. I'm using the Makeup Geek Wine and Birthday Wish. It's such a gorgeous shimmery color. Take a flat shader brush of some sort. Pick it up, smoosh it into the brush, tap off the excess, we're gonna put this just on the outer part of the eye, staying under the crease, and then the inner part of the eye, you're gonna leave the center part of the lid blank. Same brush, wipe it off. Now we're gonna go in with Afterglow, which is a beautiful light shimmery color. Pat this just on the center of the lids, again, staying under the crease. Then take kind of a taupey brown color. I'm gonna use Barcelona Beach and the Make of Geek Crease Brush. We're gonna put this just in the crease just to buff it out and add a little bit of dimension. Super easy. Now you're gonna take a black eyeliner pencil and a black gel liner. I'm using the Immortal One by Makeup Geek. We're just gonna line this in the upper and lower water line. Now if you feel that's too harsh for you, what you can do is just take a liquid liner, put it just along the upper lash line, stay really close, because we don't want too, too much eyeliner. But what I'm gonna do is put this in the water line. And if you guys have maybe light features, blue eyes, and this is too harsh, you could also use a brown gel liner instead of black. Then all you have to do is apply your mascara. Okay, now for the lips, all you guys need is a nude lipstick and then a brighter pink, just for a slight ombre. I'm using Max Myth, it's one of my favorite nudes. We're gonna apply this all over the lips. Then take a flat brush and your brighter pink lipstick. This is Estee Lauder one in number 230. I'm gonna use that brush to apply it just along the outer edge of the lips. So you're almost gonna line the lips with this. And then slightly start bringing it down to kind of shade it in. And there you go, you have your shimmery eyes and your slight ombre lips. Something to cheer up your Monday blues. So let's go on to Tuesday's look. So for day two of our looks, it's Tuesday, so as you guys can see, you know, the first day on Monday, you usually have your hair all glammed up, you have time to style it and stuff, and the second day, I'm like, eh, I'm not going to wash it. So what I usually do is I'll do like a side braid or just pull it into a ponytail, something that's easy because I don't wash every single day, I'm not going to lie. So for the makeup, we're going to keep it pretty easy as well. We're going to do smudge liner and bright lips. So all I'm going to do is take this NYX one in Tropical Green. And we're just going to put this along the upper lash line. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It could be a little bit messy because we're going to smudge it anyways. You want it to be something that's really creamy. So I'm just going to draw right along the lash line. Make it a little bit thicker on the outer part of the eyes. And then all you're going to do is take a pencil brush like this one. And we're just going to smudge it out. Now take that same brush and I'm going to go in with a lighter green color. I'm going to use the Makeup Geek one in Apple Teeny. Take that pencil brush. So if you guys are going to do different colors, if you do a purple, just take a lighter purple eyeshadow. If you do a blue or a teal, just do a lighter color of whatever eyeliner that you're using. We're just going to smudge this on top of the eyeliner, staying somewhat close to the lash line, but coming up just a little bit. Now if you want to darken the lash line a little bit more, you can go in with a darker shadow. I'm going to use the one in Envy, same brush, and just stay really close to the lash line. So we're almost getting an ombre effect where it's darker along the lash line, it goes lighter as it goes up. 
So just smudge this very close to the lash line. Now the focus for today's look is going to be the lips because obviously the eyes are so easy, you guys. And I love the combination of the green eyeliner with like a slight purple lip. So what I'm going to do is use the Bite Lip Crayon in the color Violet. And let me do a swatch for you guys so you can see it's a beautiful like orchid color, which is the perfect color for 2014. It's like the Pantone of the year. So we're just going to apply a layer of that for a nice pop of purple. Then to brighten this up just a little bit, make it not quite as purple, more like a pinky purple, I'm going to apply pink lip gloss on top. The one I'm going to use is the Maybelline one in number 90, Electric Shock. Ooh, Electric Shock. We're going to apply this on top just to turn it kind of a pinky purple color. Such a pretty combo. I really like this a lot. And... That is it for today's makeup. So easy, you guys, but see how, like, fun and electric it is. And if you guys don't like wearing color in your eyes for during the week, which I totally understand. Some people aren't comfortable with it. I am, but <laughs> you can switch the green for a uh, brown if you like or a black, or you can even do a dark blue. It won't pop quite as much as the green, and then you can still do the nice, pretty orchid lips. So let's go on to day three. For Wednesday's look, usually I wash my hair the night before, so I just wear it straight. You guys don't need a tutorial on that. But what I do for the volume at the top, because you guys know I have thin hair, I just put those Velcro rollers in while I do my makeup in the morning, and it'll just kind of lift it up a little bit. Okay. For the eyes, we're going to do a white base. I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in white. We're just going to put this all over the lid. Just put a few streaks on there. Take your ring finger and blend it out, staying under the crease. Next up is darkening the crease. I'm going to take the Make of Geek crease brush and the eyeshadow latte, which is a nice taupey brown. All we're going to do is just put this in the crease, doing a slight windshield wiper motion. I'm also going to put a little bit here in the outer part of the eye and sweep it inwards. That's what's going to give it that really cool shaded effect. Same brush, now go in with a color Beaches and Cream, something that's close to your skin color. And again, we're keeping this all matte finish. We're just gonna put this right above the crease just to soften it and make it a little bit more wearable. Okay, now this step is optional if you guys have the time or if you want to bring up the darkness out here a little bit more. Since I have dark features, I like to do that. You can take the color Corrupt, which is a pure black, or if you have light features, blonde hair or blue eyes, you can go with a dark brown instead so it's not so harsh. We're gonna take um, that shadow and a pencil brush like this. This is a MAC 219. And all we're going to do is darken the outer part of the eye. So I'm just putting a little bit of color right here. And again, we're going to sweep it inwards to give that kind of shaded, blended effect. This is optional too, same brush and the same shadow. You can put a little bit under the lower lash line just to enhance the lashes and bring some darkness in. Final step is to take a light creamy color like Vanilla Bean and a flat stiff brush. We're just going to pat this on the lid just to brighten the eyes. Then the final step is to just take a liquid liner with a felt tip. I like the Revlon Color Stay. And we're just going to put this along the lash line just starting halfway and bringing it out. I'm not going to do a winged liner or too thick. I'm going to stay really close to the lash line so it doesn't get too dramatic. Then just apply two coats of your favorite mascara. Now for the lips, if you guys want to stop here, you can just put on a clear lip gloss or just keep it plain if you want, but I'm gonna add a berry lip color. Now to make it more wearable for work, what you're going to do is take a flat brush and apply it that way. It turns it almost into a berry stain and it's a little bit softer and more work time appropriate. So let me show you guys. Do you see how it shears out just a little bit? And it's not so intense, but it still gives you that beautiful berry color. This is NARS Scarlet Empress. And there you go. You have Wednesday's work look. So let's go on to Thursday. Okay, so it's day four for our makeup looks, and the focus today is going to be on a cat eyeliner with a little pop of color, and this is so quick and easy, you guys, because I'm going to do my trick. I've done this several times, but I want to make sure you get it. Use some tape, some scotch tape when you do your cat eyeliner, because 
It's so quick and you don't have to worry about making each one even. You just slap the tape on, put some gel liner, pull off the tape. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So we're going to pretend like the lower lash line is extending out. That's gonna be the guide for your tape. So put that on just like that. And then you're going to take your black gel liner. I'm using the One in Immortal and a bent liner brush. You're going to pick up some of that. We're gonna run it along the lash line starting at the halfway point. So start right here and just pretty much draw against the lash line. And then when you get out to the tape, you're gonna run it along the tape. Stay um, under the crease, so where your crease naturally is, that's a good stopping point for your cat wing. Any more than that, it starts to get a little bit too dramatic. So connect it, just like that. Okay, so this is the shape that you guys could have. Do you see how it's kind of like a triangle shape? So all you have to do is peel off the tape and instant cat eye. Now for a little pop of color, what I'm gonna do is take a purple eyeliner. I'm using the Urban Decay one in Lust, which is a really pretty bright purple. We're just gonna run this under the lower lash line and this is where a pop of color comes in. So if you guys want to switch it up each day, wear the same look, but just switch out the color, you can do a teal, a green, can even do like a plummy color for something a little bit darker and this is a great way to incorporate color into your work routine without feeling like it's too much for everyday wear now what you're going to do to soften this out and smudge it a bit you're going to take the make of geek pencil brush and i'm going in with the eyeshadow sensuous which is a beautiful let me get a close-up of that a beautiful soft purple color with just a touch of gold i need to do more videos with this because it's actually a really pretty eyeshadow what I'm going to do is just smudge this under the lower lash line just to kind of soften it out so it's not so harsh and it also sets the eyeliner so it doesn't melt throughout the day at work. And then for the lips I want to keep it nude because there is a bit of color on the eyes. And so my favorite nude lipstick right now is the MAC One Flare for Finery and it's this beautiful soft light pink color. It comes across kind of a nudie pink. And so I'm just gonna put a layer of that. If you want just lipstick, that's fine. But you guys know I love me some lip gloss, so I'm gonna put some on, on top. <laughs> I'm gonna use the NYX one. The Mega Shine lip glosses are amazing. Great lip colors, very inexpensive. You can get them at Target now. This is the color Sugar Pie. Sugar, sugar, oh honey, honey. Okay, so we're gonna put this on top. It's a beautiful, um, kind of nudie pink color. Did I just sing in a video? Wow, I cannot believe I did that. <laughs> Had a little too much coffee this morning. Okay, so that is our look. What is that? I'm getting all sorts of stuff on my face today. Okay, so that is our look. Cat eyeliner, little pop of color, a nice soft lip color. You're good to go for the day. So that is Thursday's look. Let's go on to day five, last day of the week, Friday. All right, so it's Friday, yay! Friday's look is all about the smoky eye. Now, if you guys are running late, you don't have time to do this complete look. You can kind of leave out the black shading, just do the paint pot and the pigment on top. So there's a couple options for you. I'm gonna take Max Pigment in Stormy Pink. It's a beautiful, I don't know what's called pink, it's kind of a purpley color. But I'm just gonna put this all over the lid and blend it up. This is the base for our smoky eye. Next step is to take your black liner. I'm using the Makeup Geek Immortal one and just take an eyeliner pencil. We're gonna line the upper and lower water line. We're gonna get all this darkness going on. Really easy, so just line up here. Pick up some more, line the lower lash line or water line. Pick up a little bit more. Now we're going to line along the lash line. Stay close to it as possible. Make it a little bit thicker on the outer edge of the eye because we're going to use a brush and smoke that up a little and then a little bit under the lower lash line only if you feel like you can handle this much darkness if not skip this part now take a really small dome shaped brush like the mac 219 we're going to just smudge this out kind of smoke it up the outer part of the eye we're going to bring it up just a little bit more now take a flat stiff brush and the Nightlife Pigment. It's a gorgeous kind of shimmery, taupey color. We're just gonna place this on the lid. 
So pat this on staying under the crease and bring it a little bit over that black liner as well. Now take a crease brush and the color Unexpected. We're just going to put this in the crease. And again, if you guys don't have the time, you can cut out that black eyeliner part and just do the pigment with the crease color and then put on your mascara and that'll be faster. I want to give some options. It's Friday because you know you're going to go party after work. So put this in the crease. Then pick up a color close to your skin. For me, it is Beaches and Cream. Same brush. We're just going to blend this right above the crease to soften it out. Then going back in with that small dome brush and the color Galaxy. It's a dark gunmetal color. We're going to use this just to shade on top of that black liner. So I'm going to run this right along the lash line, making it thicker along the outer part of the eye. Then if you want to brighten the inner corner, you can go back in with that flat stiff brush. Go in with a light shimmer color like Shimma Shimma. And we're just going to place this near the inner tear duct just for a little pop like that. And then if you need eyeliner, and again, if you have time, I know there's a lot of steps for this, so it's all optional. Go in with a liquid liner. I'm using the Revlon Color Stay and put this just along the lash line. Stay really close. We're not going to wing it up or anything. We're just going to darken the lashes. Then all you have to do is apply two coats of your favorite mascara. Okay, now for the lips, we're keeping it super easy because I know the eyes took a little bit of time in this. You could just do when you get to work or at a stoplight in your car. Don't tell the cops. Um, we're going to use the Revlon Color Burst um, Lip Stain. This is the color 35. It's just a soft, pale peach color because, again, the eyes are taking the show. So just put a layer of this on and... There you go. You have a sexy Friday look that you can wear to work and then take it out to a nice party after work. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope all of these looks give you some great ideas. Don't forget to go to makeupgeek.com. I'll have all the pictures, the products I use listed out so you have five complete looks that you can wear any day for work. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.